Hey everybody, welcome to goodnewsbus.com. In just a minute, I'm gonna show you how I just installed screens on the Good News Bus. First of all, I want to say thank you to all of our subscribers. Um, when we first put the, the original Good News Bus video on, we had no idea of all the comments and all of the emails and everything that we get, all the support for the Good News Bus, so I just want to say thank you. I also want to say check out our other YouTube channel, Lugnut Films, where we feature product reviews and other cool and fun videos. Check it out and let us know what you think. So what we did when we first did the conversion of the bus is every single window that we saved that we didn't cover were emergency windows. So the cool feature about that is the whole window can flip open and shut and then it can also slide down. So this is the first screen that I installed on the Good News bus. It just has two little snap or four snap buttons. You snap it up over the window but bugs were still getting in so this is just cheap, so I'm gonna show you a better way. Okay, so for each screen assembly, I'm gonna need one eight foot piece of screen frame. So I went to Home Depot and I bought my screen frame, my screen, my spline, my corners, and the tool that you need for installing the spline into the frame. So what I did first is I measured the perimeter of the window, way almost up to this flange here, just came down just a little bit, and then I brought it all the way down to just above here, because when I, when I have my screen come down, I actually want it to close as tightly in here as possible. I measured there's a little lip here, and there's a little lip on this side here, so I just measured that. And then to figure out my frame size, I subtracted the measurement of each corner and I subtracted that from my total, my total measurement and I cut my frames at that length. That way when I assembled my frame together and I put the corners on, it would be the same exact size as the opening. I'm using a jigsaw to cut the screen frame. Always a good idea to have safety glasses. After you cut it, you want to install your corners on each end of the frame and you continue cutting until all your frame pieces are cut and install your other corners and assemble your entire frame. Now I am not a professional screen installer so I'm sure there might be an easier way of doing this but I just did it the way that I found easiest. Next you want to pull your screen over top your frame that you've built and cut it larger than the frame. just make sure you're pretty you know lined up next you want to take your spline and install it around the perimeter of the frame I start at the bottom I'm just gonna cut it right here okay and then I'm gonna turn this around like this then I do the top and you'll notice that it tightens the screen pretty tight and you don't really want it too tight because if it's too tight, you can actually, it'll actually warp the frames of your screen. Then I do the two sides. Continue this right around the corner here. And then we'll spin it around this way. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of clean up this screen and you just wanna cut the stuff to length. Make sure all of it is pushed down where it's supposed to be. After you've got that done, you can just cut the loose screen off. Now your screen frame is done. I had painted whitehead soffit screws that 
were good because they were white and they would blend in with the screen frame. So what I did is I cut those down to size, about a half inch, so that they weren't coming through too far and they wouldn't obstruct anything with the operation of the bus window. I had to be sure when I was gonna drill the holes into the window frames that the screws didn't inhibit the movement of the window. So I made sure that my screws were very high for the top screws and as low as possible for the bottom screws. That way the window can roll up all the way and it can also roll down all the way. Now it's time to actually install the screen. One other thing that I do is I make sure that the channeled side of the screen faces the bus so you don't see that. Put your screen up, make sure that it fits, line it up and drill your hole. screw right at the bottom of this flange right through here. Just because you've got two screws in this side won't mean that the screw or that the screen is square yet. So you have to just make sure you're lined up at the same height here as you are here and make sure your bottom reveal looks good. And then you can go ahead and put your next screw in. This is our last screw here. So now the screens are installed and the window rolls down and it still hinges out. Everything works. So there's still a little gap on each side of the window. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some peel and stick weather stripping and fill those gaps so that I will be insured of a bugless bus. Let me know what you think of the screens I put in my bus in the comment section below this video. And also uh, subscribe to our channel. We plan on having many more videos coming up, a whole walkthrough of the Good News Bus. And check out our website at www.goodnewsbus.com where we blogged the progress of our conversion from day one until its completion on the bus. And you, there's a lot of resources on there. Check it out. Have a great day. All right, so we're in the good news bus right now. This is the window we just put this, you know, this is the window where I just put the screen up. And then I had to subtract the measurement bug tight bus. I brought, I bought. So when I went eight foot, I, when I, how am I gonna say? Bug free bus. This is just cheap, so I'm gonna show you a better way and what I did and everything that's involved. So for each screen, so, okay, so that's pretty good. An absent of bugs in the bus. What, what do you do next? Where, where was I? Bugless bus going to be connecting the screen to the bus. Something like that. Weather stripping and with the stick, the back stick on weather stripping, this is now the bugless bus. Good news bugless bus.